So what I'm about to share that works for me, uh, please don't take as medical advice or, you know, replace uh, as a replacement for something, a regimen that your doctor may have um, recommended, etc. This is what has worked for me and what I have seen work for other people. The very first thing that I do every morning before I even get out of bed is to be grateful. To be grateful that I can communicate with you and share with you from my heart things that I um, have uh, that have worked for me and that have made my life very happy, successful, joyful, and peaceful. So before I get out of bed every morning, I make sure that I close my eyes. I'm, I'm obviously wide awake, but I close my eyes and take a couple of deep breaths and just name a few things that I'm grateful for. Um, typically, for me, I, I name three, five things, whatever, whatever I can think of. I don't force myself. I just really want it to come from the heart and from that deep sense of, um, you know, my soul. What am I grateful for? I am so grateful for being in alignment with the universe, or I am so grateful for waking up to a warm bed or a soft bed, or I'm so grateful for it, my partner, uh, you know, who, who I can wake up next to, or I'm so grateful for, for whatever you can think of. It's really, really important. The other thing, Number two thing that I do, um, and I don't do all of them all the time. I do some of them uh, some of the time. Uh, it, it, you know, one thing I've learned to do, and I really, really recommend, is listen to, your, to yourself. Listen to that intuition, to that little voice within you that's saying, you know, this really works well for me or that works well for me. So the second thing that I do, especially at night before going to bed, if I'm feeling stressed, is I listen to high frequency music, um, especially um, 528 um, uh, hertz or 432 hertz. You know, if you just go on YouTube and search uh, high frequency meditation music, you'll find all kinds of things. And what that high frequency music and that um, the right uh, megahertz does for your um, body is it aligns your chakras, your energy centers. And, um, you know, we are, after all, beings of energy. And so when we align ourselves with the right frequency, we, um, you know, we're in balance. We become in balance, and that really helps us to cope um, with stress because it relaxes us, it puts us in that um, and that right state of mind and, and body and energy. Number three, I would say that really works well for me is I learned to close. I've learned to close my circles when I have too many things open and undone, and I've left circles open. You know, sometimes we 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 just um, uh, commit ourselves to doing too many things, and when too many of those circles are left open, that's when we feel stressed. So we need to learn to close them. So go back and start closing them. And if you can't, then just start from where you are and um, learn to say no. That is so important. L just learn to say no, because sometimes we feel that we have to always be there for other people, you know, uh, especially our family, our children. Well, how can we give of our best if we're not at our best? So sometimes it's we have to be a tiny bit selfish and say, you know, um, let me get back to you and, and see if, you know, what I can do to help or um, if I can even help because you need to take care of yourself first. So close those circles, learn to say no, you know, if you're feeling stressed and uptight about your, um, your life and your daily schedule, then um, just, you know, take care of yourself first. And with that goes number four, that if you have way too many things to do, learn to delegate. You know, we live in a society that tells us, you know, we should be able to do this and do that and, and, you know, empowerment and all this. You know what the best empowerment tool is? Is to learn to take care of yourself and to learn uh, how to uh, give tasks to other people that can relieve you of all the responsibilities that you have. You know, that is the real, real definition of empowerment is to know and to be in control of yourself and to know what is going to make you stronger. So if you have too many tasks, maybe ask for help. You know, your family, your friends, whoever, um, colleagues. It, it, that is, a, a true leader knows how to delegate. A true leader actually doesn't do all the work themselves. They dole out responsibilities to others 
who are better equipped, better skilled at, at taking care of those things. So that's the definition of a true leader, is knowing how to delegate. The other thing that I do, point number five, uh, when I'm feeling stressed is I take time out to go into nature. I wish I could be outside today, but it's been raining very, very heavily. And um, it's, you know, if I take a, a walk in the woods, I, that's just, I'm gonna get all, <laughs> all wet. And it's not gonna help me because I have uh, some things to do, um, a few things to do today that, you know, I don't need to be changing or, you know, combing my hair again. So I thought I just wanted to shoot this video for you um, as I was thinking about how can I give really, really good value to my audience today. So uh, it's important to get out into nature or uh, once a day, you know, whether that's for five minutes, half an hour, two hours, whatever you can do. We're all on different journeys and not all of us can be out in nature every single day for, you know, uh, and, and even if you can't do it every day, do it as often as you can. Something I've recently learned about is called grounding. The idea that we uh, have, de one of the reasons we're so stressed is because we um, are keeping ourselves from receiving those wonderful energies that the earth has to offer us. And how do we do that? You know, um, Native American Indians and um, indigenous uh, peoples uh, walk barefooted a lot. And what that does for them is they, they ground themselves into the earth and then they're able to capture that energy, natural energy from the earth, which charges their body, their soul, their minds. And uh, so what I try to do every so often, even if um, it's not for a very long period of time, I'll take off my shoes and I just walk on grass. Uh, I walk on actual dirt um, and not only does it feel wonder in the sand, a lot of people go to the beach and walk on the sand. That what does that do? Because that's giving them a, uh, a, a, a an energy that helps uh, the chakras, our energy centers, balance. So, if you can't go barefooted and you know uh, out there, just get out there and touch a tree. You know our. Uh, ancestors used to say, smell the roses, take time to smell the roses. And that's what they meant is, you know, look at a flower, touch a plant, uh, put your hand on dirt, uh, you know, walk barefooted, whatever you can do, or just stand out there and look at the trees, look up at the trees, look at the branches and the leaves. And by doing that, it's amazing what a sense of peacefulness you get. So try that. And my last, um, a little um, offering that I have is meditation. Meditation for me is invaluable. When I can't do any of the above, if I just take even five minutes to go into a quiet space, wherever that is, you know, shut yourself in your room, go under a staircase, you know, a lot of people have families and kids running around and and people in their lives that they can't get away from, go to the bathroom, <laughs> you know, walk into the shower and do this and just sit down comfortably and close your eyes and take a deep breath, two or three deep breaths and just clear your mind of any thoughts. I know that's really hard for a lot of people if that's hard for you to do, then maybe light a candle and look, stare at the candle for a little while and try to just look at the candle and as thoughts come into your mind, just let them go through and, you know, let them pass. Some people um, like to take baths, warm baths, also look, you know, with candlelight and that also helps. For me, I, um, I also work with meditation music. Again, YouTube is such a great, great tool. I look for meditational music that just helps me to relax. So I hope uh, today's video um, will help you in some way. Again, I don't do all seven all, all at once. I do some of them some of the time. The key for you is listen and feel what works for you best. And I hope that, um, that this has really been helpful to you. Let me know. I love to hear back from people, especially, you know, when I, uh, you know, something works 
or if uh, I can do something better. So have a wonderful day.